finally, after 10 races, I have finally cleared up the image for you audience watching the race. So you can see it in pretty HD quality instead of pixelated blurriness. And hopefully you like it. And also in the top right, there will be a little PCS logo. And that's just to represent the Penzo Cup Series. And we're racing today at Race State at Dover. The Penzo Polo will go to Kyle Collins driving the number 83 car for Old Spice Motorsports. As the field takes the green flag, Kyle Collins drives it down into the corner. The 83 car is bringing the same suspension and chassis as he did win with at Bristol. And what I see is that that car is going to be fast here just like it was at Bristol. And I have no doubt about that at all. And the 83 car dinking it down into turn 3 is pulling away just a bit. Jay Barker, and there's a huge cluster in the back. And we do have a caution coming off the corner. Who is that? That was a blue car. It cannot be Jay Darrell, can it? Was that Jay Darrell? And it was. The Fitzwater Australia car, or the far team car, is now wrecked. And that will drop him out of the race. Tough look after he just finally beat, met his goal and got into the top three in points and looking for a good run here today will not happen as he drops out. Meanwhile, coming out of out of pit road after a lot of people pitted only after the first lap, Matt Hotchkiss runs into the back of Robin Shannon, just not looking where he's going, I guess. Green flag is out for Michael Jones as six people did end up staying out when the pit road came around. And that was Michael Jones, Michael Kraft, Jacob Tube, Blaine Keys, Addison Steinbeck, and Rick Witt. And currently your second place is trying to go for first. Michael Kraft takes the lead with Jacob Tube coming right underneath them, and he'll take the lead right back. That valuable bonus point will go to Jacob Tube and not Michael Kraft, however, as if you do not know, one bonus point for every if you do lead a lap and if you lead the most laps that's plus five so that's what you need right now coming into this race bonus points we're looking at the 12 and the 22 cars both of them had speed pit road speeding penalties you have to do a drive through kyle collins in the 83 car will be a mono mad dash to the front that old spice racing 83 car is quick with that chassis just like he was at Bristol and making it past four of the cars that did not come down pit road in three laps. So that 83 car, very quick, and he, now he's going to try to chase down the other two cars up front. Other two cars up front, the 49 of Lane Keys and the 42 of Jacob Two. And we have some people coming down pit road for some green flag pit stops. These guys are actually, these, this, this is scheduled, and these guys are actually trying to make the distance on fuel by their calculations. One lap later, Zach Cars likes the idea, he'll come down as well. So, strategy playing an important part already, only four laps after the green. Jacob Tube and Blaine Keys, however, would hold on to the lead pretty well as Kyle Collins has kind of halted his advance towards the front. As Jacob Tube, that's exactly what he wants. He wants to um, really make up the points. He's been really disappointed with how his team has run the entire season so far. Just disappointment after disappointed season so far. So the 42 team looking to have a good run here today, as well as playing keys right there in the 49. And now we're looking at Derek Petrie in the 53 car for Rascal Racing. This team just had their um, first really bad week at Kansas last week after being held up by slower cars, which kind of just broke his broke the day for him. But after before that, he had three consistent races of top five finishes, which made him go up to the top two in points before falling to fourth after last week. He's looking to have redemption and get back in that top five this race, and looking to close it out with a, maybe with a win too. Ryan Boone in the 70 car. He's one of the guys who needs a good win, a good race here. Hey, win would be great too. But that 70 team has just kept falling down the scoreboards every race we go on. And that 70 car not being consistent enough anymore. We always used to say, hey, where did the 70 come from? He was in the back, but now he's in the front. Well, now he's starting to stay in the back a lot more than he used to. But here's the 32 car, the points leader. He's another example of that. But he's managed to continue that um, trend, and I feel if he does not, that 
he'll probably end up just like the 70 is right now, down in 18th in points. And now we're looking at the 69 car Bella Davis. If you did not watch last week at Kansas, Bella Davis was your winner and and pretty much got up into the top 20 in points. However, was one spot out by a 10 point margin. Not bad for racing only three races though. Bella Davis kind of leading a blonde zig about racing right now as the best driver so far. As we look in front, Gary Weaver, he also needs a good run here. Um, just because he missed last week, as it was the complete opposite of Bella Davis. He was running fourth in points at one point, but he's just been slipping and slipping and slipping just like Brian Boone. So, looking for a good race for him today. Jacob too, however, wanted a good race today, is continuously doing good and staying up front until now. The 83 kind of just bumps the 42 out of the way. Little tap up the track and the 83 goes on by. You can see Kyle Collins just has a very fast car and I don't think anyone can match him right now. Blaine Keys will follow him through in the 49 car. So that car is also fast. If you look back in 5th, that's Jake Booker in the 5, when he's not battling with Brian Lenny, he's up in the middle of the field, and most likely 5th, that 5 car, kind of ironic, but it's true, that 5 has been around 5th, 6th, and 7th most of his career so far in the series, and it's a consistent run, yes, but I don't believe he's actually lit a lap in an oval, well, other than Daytona and Talladega, yet this year, and that that's kind of... That's kind of what he needs to do. Bonus points. If you if you have led every single lap, a let a, if you've led a lap every single race so far this season, you'd have 10 more points than you do now. And that's a lot in the scheme of things. But the five car doing a two for one there, getting by Jacob Two and Michael Jones. He's going for the lead. He wants that bonus point. We're looking at Jack Newman, his teammate in the back, been more of a third, fourth, and fifth kind of person rather than a um, fifth, sixth, and seventh. But he's also been in the lead a lot of the time, too. And that 7 car really has been strong. If you, if you haven't gone a race yet without hearing, hey, Jack Newman inside the top 5, you have it. And that's that's what sets apart the 7 from the 5. However, the 7 has had a bit a bit more um, kind of dis misfortune than the 5 has. And it's kind of sent him back just a bit more. But you know who's had a lot of misfortune? And I'm sorry to not even be talking about this. He, this has been six races since Blaine Keyes has even been in a start. His last race was Martinsville, and that was his only race. Where he finished outside the top 20 and currently has zero points right now. Blaine Keyes is just looking for a one point. Well, he's going to get one from that bonus point. But right now, he is achieving that right now, up in first place. My AJ Davidson in the 52, it is so hard to go back and watch Kansas just because of AJ Davidson and Aaron Luke's of last season. Both Mally Motorsports drivers running first and third. And Aaron Luke's electrical issue will take out him and AJ Davidson from the lead and put them back to 18th and 22nd. And it's just so hard because of all the misfortune that the team has had this season. And it's kind of, it's really. I, Aaron Luke misses this race, it just continues and continues. Arsha Saint, another person with bad luck. If he missed his first race since last since Atlanta uh, a couple weeks ago. And that Alonzo Gobot Racing team has been kind of consistent, I'll say that. He's been around 15th some of the races. But other than that, he's never broken the top 20 before yet this season. And well, new paint scheme on that 63 um, for a selected amount of races. Hopefully, that will bring in spirits along with new paint, with new spirits as well. As we see a lot of people coming down pit road for pit stops now, that two car being one of them, Jay Barker. And we're going to have to see what pit stops will be working, what won't. Nine, however, these three aren't, are the leaders, yes, but they aren't on the same schedule. In fact, they didn't even pit yet. These, in fact, are those guys that actually pitted two laps after the green flag dropped. And Zach Carr's won more than Nick Purcell's, so he'll be probably going in one lap later. But that that 16 car looking for a good finish, the Nye especially looking for a good finish, and heck, maybe this pit strategy will end up working out for a win in the future. And you see right now, about five laps after the leaders came in, comes Zach Carr's and Nick Purcell's. But after they do their pit stops, it'll be Rick Witt in the lead, 
leading the banner for the Red Viper Racing Team. And I see that, I mean it, Rick Brent has really been on it since he won at Hillside, and um, he's been really on the top of things so far. And for that team, he's not inside the top 20 yet, but he will be soon. But you see Michael Jones and um, Jack Newman getting by him. He hasn't been the fastest car here this week, but he's running up front, and that's all that matters. As Michael Jones currently trying to fight off Jack Newman, from passing him right now. Michael Jones, a, one of those guys who's been kind of average the past couple weeks. He hasn't done anything outstanding since California either, except for staying around second in points, which he is right now. Jack Newman going on the inside right now. That seven car quick, definitely quicker than the 47. As the 47, remember, he was one of the six cars who did the pit strategy earlier this race. And Kyle Collins' pit strategy, more like pit failure, as he fell back a bit, a bit on time. At least he's made up a lot of ground though, that E3 car. Really fast on fresh tires. Um, seems to kind of fade as the tires get a little bit worn out. But that E3 car performing just like it was at Bristol. Hopefully he doesn't get any more pit stop slowness the next time around. As a 24 car, this is his first race again since Bristol and then since Martinsville after that. As he's run four races including this one. He's been a more of an up and down kind of guy, kind of like Addison Steinbeck, but more like DNS. But um, he has raced only four of the eight races he could have gone into, so he has a 50% chance of qualifying in the race. If he, if they can, if that team can get that all sorted out, I think they might have a legitimate chance at the championship. And if they can just get their qualifying game better, but so far that's not going for them. Derek Petrie kind of snuck his way into the picture as riding right behind. Michael Jones and now taking it first place to Derek Petrie as he might just have his top five coming again get his streak back going again I bet he would love that that 53 car been coming alive in the second part of the season at least so far and that 53 car going high um Robin Shannon in the 07 he's quick and with his teammate he your winner at Talladega the only win for Rascal Racing despite the 53 being definitely better than him, but that 31 though has some, has some strengths, he's been um, really running up front a lot of the season, and um, if you look past his controversy with a lot of the races in the earlier part of the season, he's been running consistent top 10 finishes, and talking about consistent top 10 finishes, you know, Bella Davis is 3 for 3 including with a win, so looking to get a fourth top 10 right now in that 69 car and um four races fourth fourth race and it be the fourth top 10 right now running in 15 but considerably better than 22nd where she was earlier in the race but however falling back like she is right now isn't going to do her any favors if you remember me talking about how rick Witt's holding the banner for red viper racing well, it's kind of true, ever since Hillside at least, as that's when Rick Wood won. But it might not just because of that. Daniel Boyles really was the banner holder earlier in the season, but not anymore. After Hillside, he's just been falling and falling and falling after being pretty much just um, stupid on pit road and running into the back of Michael Kraft, ending his day, ending his um, overly overly good day but anyways we got a smoker on the track that's 11 of Kyle Singer he was currently 29th the last car running in this race and I guess the 11 hasn't gotten over his luck luck hoop hill yet um, he hasn't really climbed it just yet but it looks like it and I guess you gotta have your bad day as soon sooner than later right the 53 car the 83, the 24, and the 31 are all, all going to come in pit road. Whoa, the 61 slotting and coming down pit road almost hit the commitment cones. Um, don't believe there will be a penalty there, but um, we got the 9 car out here in front as we have the um, your guy who's off the pit strategy coming around taking the lead again. And four laps later, he'll come down pit road again. Um... Coming through the corners though, Derek Petrie has a bit of a jump on the 42 currently. That 53 is rocketing away right now, but the 42 is managing to keep a steady pace. But the 53 and the 42 pretty much are just outweighing the field on lap times. 
as they're just have, they're just overwhelming everyone else. Maybe like two tenths of a second quicker than the rest of the field. Even Kyle Collins was really good earlier in the race, but I think I know who's gonna what's what's gonna be the battle at the end of this race. If you saw back there before in the last scene, you might have saw Ryan Boone moving into the picture from 18th to third, and that 70 car, I might have jinxed it as he's come to the front when it matters most, that 70, the 47's back there too, and I believe 6, Bad Dad Racing, this is exactly what they're known for, being at the front when it counts, and the 70 car having a good run so far today, but someone who isn't, the Billy Bishop Motorsports car of the 12 car is getting, getting busted for speeding or, um, after the first caution, and the only caution so far. He hasn't recovered, he's just had a slow car all day, and just a miserable day for him. As Bil as Billy Bishop Motorsports really is known for Webster's Zygarde, but today it's Blaine Keyes who's really um, done good for that team so far today. Jay Barker, Rick Gary Weaver, and AJ Davidson are fighting for that last point. Every point counts now as we're past halfway in the season. As the two car, the 52 and the 13 are battling this hard for one point. In fact, all these guys need to. They're they're either on the edge or looking in, or on the edge looking out. And um, the two car and the 13, I believe, are the two in, and the 52 is out. Every bonus point, every point counts, basically. And in the in the long run, it could come down to one point on who makes it in and who doesn't. So this battle is definitely worthwhile for this. Now on board Jacob too, as the battle continues up front, as he'll go underneath the 53 car to take the lead. And lead change now to 53. Remember, he's he suffered second place two times in a row, fourth and then a fifth, and um, he doesn't want to get another second place again. But Jacob too, I don't think he wants to have another bad day again. He wants a win now. And Addison's dying back, back in the pack. This is ninth. Um, another person who's having a swell day. Just a silent day for the 33 car. Either she, either he's wrecking, or he's kind of just further back, farther than, like, I don't know. But And then he somehow appears in the front. Addison's dying back is one of those kind of drivers for Tacos Racing Team. A heavily sponsored car, actually. But um, other than that... He's been an up and down driver, as that's what I've been calling him a lot, but it's true. Blaine Keys in the 49 car has been a great race for him so far com coming down to the wire. I don't think he's going to have a shot at the win at all, but running back in about 8th place. He's not having the run that he had earlier in the race being the leader, but he got that bonus point. He's going to get all the points for being inside the top 10. I think this is a good start in trying to, trying to make something of the season so far. I don't believe he's going to make it to the championship, but this is just a huge moral booster for him. And here's the, another battle. The 53 closes back in with the 42, and we could have a giant battle here for the lead when it comes time for the end of the race. As we only have about 15 laps to go, and no one else is pretty much in contention, but we still have a pit stop coming up. And hey, remember your people that, that were doing the pit stop strategy? Could this be the answer for them? That's Nick Purcells, Matt Hotchkiss, Zach Cars, Robin Shannon, and Kyle Singer, not anymore. But those four all just might get their um get their answer here today. As you see, but a lot of them are slow, and I don't think that anyone actually will end up getting in front of them, even with the um pit stop strategy for them. As Derek Petrie on the inside of um on the inside of Jacob 2, we'll end up taking the lead back from him, but the question is, what is, um, what, what's gonna happen with these guys who are playing the pit strategy? We're on lap 90, there he goes, down to pit road, Derek Petrie in the 53 car, as he's gonna drop down early on, and the 42 comes in a lap later, Brian Lenning in front of him, that's, that's actually Tanker Motorsports now, but more on that later. The 42 car will come out, but I don't see Derek Petrie anywhere. He's not in front of him. I don't see him. And Derek Petrie is gone from view. And oh, I see him up in the top right, That coming out of turn two, that green and blue car. Something must have went wrong with that 
Getting reports, Loose Lugnut had to re-screw it on. That just killed the race for him. But, for your 9 car, he is currently running 3rd place. He is also not in contention. Not quick enough, as the 42 and the 53 built up enough of a gap. So he couldn't even get around, even if they did pit. But this leaves the 9 in 3rd place. He's, I believe he might try to go for it. Nick Purcell has just came down to pit. We have 3 laps to go. But coming around for the final time, he still hasn't pit yet. He's going to try for it. The 42 car coming around as that Jacob Tube car is right now looking for the first win. Ford has not yet got a win yet. Testronics Motorsports with level win yet. Alonzo Go Out Racing did it. It was a lifesaver for them last week. It's going to be Tetronics Motorsports this week and a lifesaver for them. Checkered flag goes to them. Ford's first win of the season. Congratulations, Jacob Tube. Do those burnouts as you definitely deserved it. Hard fought race all season, all season long. Fought through all the discourage, discouraging events and may, comes out on top with the win today. Derek Petrie, a good second place. Zach Cars, a great third place. Everything fell his way for once. Rick Witt, fourth. Brian Boone, fifth. Michael Jones, sixth. Bad Dad Racing, fifth and sixth. Jake Booker, solid seventh. Michael Craft, eighth. Blaine Keys, just, just a thumbs up for him in ninth. And Marco Sopitro in tenth. Good job for all ten of those drivers. As I believe exactly half are outside the top 20 as of now. Addison Steinbach is in 11th. Kyle Collins sadly finishes 12th, fell back in the ending stages from pit stops again. Jack Newman 13th. Bella Davis will end her 10th, 10th um, top 10 streak in 14th. Daniel Voyles 15th. Arshaw Sane 16th. Ryan Dunn, not a good race for the points leader, finishes 17th. Kevin Ulrich 18th. Brett Brown 19th. And A.J. Davidson will be the one guy that gets that one point in 20th. Gary Weaver and Jay Barker will not, 21st and 22nd. Cody Russell, one lap down in 23rd. Nick Purcell's 24th. Matt Hodgkiss, 25th. Brian Lenning, the Alex Tanker, all motorsports driver now, 26th. Robin Shannon, 27th. Webster Zygaard, 28th. Most of those guys, pit strategy claimed them, and they had to go into pits before they could finish the race. 29th, Kyle Singer, as he um, out with a blow motor. J. Durrell, 30th, out from wreck in lap one. Derek Petrie takes the lead on top by seven points. No, nine points, actually, over Michael Jones, who still remains in second. But Brian Dunn bumped two positions down to third. Michael Brian Boone, fourth. Michael Kraft, fifth. J. Durrell all the way down to sixth. Cody Russell, seventh. Nick Purcell is in eighth. Jake Booker, ninth. And Kyle Collins, 10th, but it, I'm sure he would have been a lot higher if he would have gotten that win. 11th, Matt Hotchkiss, 12th, Addison Steinbeck. 11 cars actually now in the hundreds, and um, a lot about to break that as well. Brett Brown in 14th, Jack Newman 13th, Webster Zygaard 15th as he just keeps falling down the board. Garrett Daniel Voyles in 16th after being, what, like 4th at one point? Gary Weaver in 17th, same for him. Kyle Singer still managing to stay inside the top 19 and 18th. Jay Parker holding on by a string in 19th. And 21st, Bella Davis. 22nd, Jacob Tube. Zach Cars up to 23rd. Jacob Tube and Zach Cars, great finishes for them. Moves them up to 22nd, 23rd. Same for Marco Sapatro. AJ Davidson, 25th. Giovanni Barraza, 26th. Robin Shannon, 27th. Arsha Sane falls down to 28th. Brian Lenning in 29th, just an endless spiral of failness for him. And Roger Thomas, the last time we'll probably see him right now. The Penzo Cup Series, we'll see you next time in Eagles Point. Thank you all so much for watching. There are your songs. I'll see you next time.